Hello, I'm Brandon Bear. I'm so excited to show you Blitz.js, this awesome full stack framework that's built on top of Next. So let's get into it. I was building full stack uh, React apps for a few years, and I happily put up with the complexity and struggle required to do so because I loved building user interfaces with React more than any other way. But the honeymoon ended. And I became increasingly frustrated with REST APIs, GraphQL APIs, APIs in general, um, managing server state on the client, like with Redux, MobX, etc., uh, managing multiple servers and deployments, APIs, all these things. Anything that got in the way of me building features slowly depleted my morale. I really wanted to love full stack web development again. I wanted to be extremely productive again. I wanted to focus on building features instead of mostly marshalling data all around the universe. So I decided enough was enough and I set out to build the best possible developer experience for building full stack React apps. So there were two things that I had to have uh, to achieve this developer experience that I wanted. Number one, it had to be monolithic. Monolithic means there's one thing to deploy uh, and one thing to develop. There's only one thing to reason about when you think about your application versus all these different uh, pieces and servers that have to connect together and be um, orchestrated during deployment and all of these things. So number one, it had to be monolithic. This is, you know, like Ruby on Rails uh, apps, like Laravel apps, et cetera, and because it's, it's so much uh, easier. And secondly, they had to have no API because the API is the largest source of complexity for React apps out of everything combined. And it slows you down more than you would ever imagine. And it's, it's just a frustrating and a pain to deal with, really. Like all I want to do is get some data from my from my like database and show it in the user interface. I don't care about the API, you know. It just gets in my way. So I, I wanted to get rid of this and go back to the experience that Ruby on Rails developers have, where you know there's no API and you can just put stuff in your view and that's it. So, um. You know, I thought about, okay, how, how can we do this? Does it mean we have to, you know, go back to 2004 and do server-side rendering again? Again, Well, I thought so, and I was prepared to embrace that. In fact, the very first uh, prototype of Blitz used Git server-side props um, exclusively, like it required that, um, but it was already, like, promising. I was like, well, this is this is all in the, in the direction that I want to go. But... Uh, as the other Blitz contributors and myself were figuring out in the early days what the Blitz architecture would look like, um, you know, we we weren't happy with this uh, SSR thing only, and we wanted something better. So we were exploring like MVC, um, you know, all these different patterns for what what the architecture would be. And one day I was laying in a hammock in Thailand pondering this. And I asked myself, what would this look like if it was easy? You know, so I thought about that for a bit. And I was like, oh, okay. Actually, here's the, the fundamental core that if it was easy, you would write functions that run on the server, and then you would import those directly into your front-end React components. And you would just use it, and your data would be there automatically. So I was like, wow, that's that's actually pretty cool. Like... Um, you don't have to mess with the API. You just import your server code directly in there. Like that's a game changer. And this could be like this, this, uh, like maybe we can make this happen. And it turns out we did. So now, you know, the biggest, uh, key piece of what Blitz is, and that's that it eliminates the API. So let's talk about uh, the other, the other major parts of Blitz. So as I mentioned, as I was, you know, building full stack React apps and was just frustrated with, with everything, really, um, there was one thing that constantly shone through the mess, and that is Next.js. 
I don't have to tell you all that Next.js is just so amazing and wonderful. And so it was a perfect platform uh, foundation to build on top of that and add all the other things that you need for full stack React apps, like a database integration, database migrations, full stack data layer, you know, without the API, um, uh, things like uh, Blitz console, which is like a replacement for, for the Rails console. So you can, it's a REPL that ha loads all your code automatically you and you can run that. Um, code scaffolding, so you can easily scaffold out pages, components, um, and then like server code. And so that's what Blitz, ad Blitz adds on top of Next. Now, secondly, the other uh, major piece that Blitz comes with by default is Prisma 2. If, you, if you're not familiar, uh, Prisma 2 has nothing to do with GraphQL. It's um, just a database client, and Blitz comes with it by default, but Blitz is database agnostic. So I'm going to quickly run through the foundational principles of Blitz, which are full stack and monolithic. Number two, API not required. Number three, convention over configuration. Number four, loose opinions. Number five, easy to start, easy to scale. Stability and community over code. So API not required. This means that uh, what we do is we abstract the API into a compile step. And so you can import server code directly into your front end. Now, Blitz queries and mutations are plain asynchronous JavaScript functions that always run on the server. And you export them as a default function, very much like you do with, um, with pages, uh, Next.js pages and API routes. It's, it's the same thing for your queries and mutations. So here's a quick diagram. I'll show you briefly how, a little bit how it fits together. You can look at this later. All right, and a convention by configuration. So this means by default, things just work without configuring them. So, so much stuff is set up for you by default in new apps. And the biggest one is authentication and authorization is set up for you right away. And you don't have to do anything at all. It's really awesome. All right, so here's, uh, let's look at an example. So this is a function that runs on the server. This is a blitz mutation. It's the sign up mutation. And so first argument is input to the uh, mutation. And then the second argument is a context parameter that's provided by middleware. And by default, blitz comes with session middleware that uh, set up for you by default. And then this is using that. So you validate the inputs, you hash the password, and then you use Prisma2, the db.user.create to create a new client. And then you uh, create the session where you pass in the user ID and the role. And there you go. Now to use this, you take this function and import it directly into your component, which is what we're looking at here. And we have a, a use mutation hook that you pass that function we were just looking at, you pass it straight to use mutation, and then you can use that in your in your function. You can call await, sign up mutation, pass in the values, and that's all you have to do. It'll it'll do handle all the network requests for you automatically. Now here's another one. So this is a git project query. Again, it takes some input arguments and in the, the context. And so the first thing we're going to call session.authorize to ensure that the user is logged in. If not, it will throw an error. And then we're going to find the get the uh, project from the database and return it. All right. So now to use that in the front end, we import that file straight into our front end. There's no code generation step here. And we pass it into the use query hook, which is built on top of React query. And so what's amazing about this is that your type, you get TypeScript types statically all the way from your server, from your database, all the way to the front end without anything like GraphQL code generation or anything. You don't have to do any there's no there's no code gen to get your types. They're all there for you statically. So it's really awesome. All right, here's a sweet testimonial I have to share with you. Someone who uh, developed Ruby and Rails apps professionally for over 10 years, uh, for a decade, yeah. And within a few months of using Blitz, they're already 10 times more productive with Blitz than with Ruby on Rails. That's their words. That's kind of mind blowing. Okay, so how to get started with Blitz? You install the CLI globally and run Blitz New My App, and you're off to the races. So just quickly, quick slide on our last and most important principle, which is community over code. We treat every person with dignity and dignity and worth in the Blitz community. 
And lastly, we love you to contribute in any way to Blitz. We appreciate anything. We have an awesome community that's working together. And to get started, you can go to blitzjs.com. I'm Flybear on Twitter, and you can follow Blitz on Twitter, Blitz underscore JS. Thank you so much for watching today.